what's happening everybody yes me amp capo black adonis games welcome back to the channel man it's been a little while man um a lot of new things guys going on a lot for real a lot um i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet uh and chop this up into different segments but um the game is coming along awesomely um things are looking promising right now um i've added a lot of content um, I'm just gonna go over some of it here. This is actually a 5.03 version to let you know I have everything in 5.3. I got a little bit more C++ coding, but it is already buildable, playable, and so I will have videos for it strictly for the 5.3 version as well. All right, um, and then I'll do some comparisons to what I see that are differences and, and um, you know, all that good stuff. So uh, first I wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, like, subscribe, tell a friend, what we're doing over here all right um next check this out we go start a game and check this out guys i have a campaign mode now all right so i have this campaign mode that i've done i've got a bunch of modes here man so it's kind of crazy um but um this is the 5.03 version it'll be different in 5.3 but we have this uh story mode now and this is a completely different uh, framework merged into a uh, Lyra starter game. We're going to go ahead and go in. Commander, can you hear me? We received a signal from the tower. We and this is a very directed version um, of the game. And this is just an option. I'm probably not going to use this. I've had a lot of issues with uh, the the system. It's a it, it could be an awesome system, but it has this thing that where if you don't have a selected um, and I'm gonna try to keep it moving here. I got us in a uh, window, so just in case I need to change something or do something while I'm in the window, I really would prefer to not be windowed and just be in full screen, guys. I hate being in windowed mode, but it is what it is, man. Um, I've been having a lot of problems when I go into full screen mode uh, with the dual screens. I do have dual screens now. Also, guys, um, I do uh, have uh, another thing going on. And if you want to help support what I'm doing, man, definitely like, subscribe, tell a friend. I do have the uh, Cash App up now, so we do have access to that as well. So, you know, if you want to uh, put something and drop, drop me something in the cash app, I definitely appreciate it, guys. It will all go towards the project. So let's get back to it. All right. So this is like very directed and scripted. We need to get this gate open. HQ said the key is here in the area. Do not fret. If it is here, I will find it. And, and <laughs> sorry about the voices, guys. They're just very uh from from various places so but you can see you know the concept um and this uh system is i believe called a dynamic dialogue system i believe that's what it's called um i'll uh leave a link to it below um like i said guys it's cool um definitely definitely pretty cool definitely kind of goes along with what i kind of want to do but just had a lot of problems with it, uh, crashing my project uh, for various reasons. Um, just getting control of it and having it work exactly how I wanted it to work has been a real pain, man. And um, big shout out to the author, though. I mean, it's very helpful. Will always help you with uh, you need with this project. But anyway, guys, that's what we got here. You're going to also now see if you look around, I have a storm system. But if you look at the storm clouds and just look at how this stuff looks, man, it looks pretty uh, fascinating. Um, these are um, and I'm still working on the actual lightning bolts. But look at this. Look at how these clouds look. This is all using volumetric clouds and volumetric lighting. Um, it looks really good. Um, this right now is running at a full uh, crispy 2K. Um, and you can, as you can see, it's running about 52 frames per second. It's because we're using a, a 4070. Um, I got my hands on a, a RTX 4070 system here. Um, got it for really, 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 really good deal um, to be able to try it. And I, I definitely want this system guys. So, you know, if you could definitely, uh, anything you could donate on, uh, like I said, on the, uh, cash app, I would appreciate it. It's time to get serious. All right. Let's see which of us has the better 
All right, and this is supposed to be some time based. All right, and so that was amazing. All right, and all this is like pretty generic animations and stuff that I just added in there, but um, it just gives you the idea of what's going on. Um, I kind of like I said in the 5.3 version, I've, I've I've disabled this system for now because I'm just having so many issues with it. Um. Here it seems to to work fine. I've gotten it to work fine, and um, it's been all right. Um, I've battled with the problems of of having uh, this dialogue system. Um, you can see here I added a pickup here, and this is for wings. All right, and I still am going to have the superhero flight system, guys. So don't think that it's gone. It's still going to be in the, in in the game, and it's still right now in the uh, multiplayer mode. I just don't have it uh, at this point in this project. I don't. I have not added it yet. Um, I'm sure it'll be pretty easy to add it. So. Would you like to open a door? <laughs> the door has opened. And, and all of this stuff is from the actual dialogue system. I just wanted to show you guys that they have an actual store. My goods. Everything here. All right. As long as you'd like. So, um, and I did tie, if you look, my gold, um, you can see that I have gold here. If you look at the, uh, I got the, uh, mouse pointer here and then they've have their gold that goes with this system. Also, you're going to see this little Nvidia and I'm sure you've been paying attention that I have that there. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some beer you for your purchase. and I'm going to go ahead and buy, what else can I buy here? Take as long as you'd like. I'm going to buy a potion. Take as long as you thank you for your take as long as you'd like. So there you go, and you can see how it switches the character on and off. All right, so pretty good stuff. There's a lot more characters. There are a lot more here in the demo. I took most of them out. There were characters that just kind of gave you a an idea of how the system works. All right. Um, I can let you know right now the 5.3 version is just so much more fun than this version. And there's there's quite a few reasons I've added just a lot since I was in this version. But anyway, we got some enemies here. And their tracking is not that good sometimes. Um, they're getting stuck on I I don't even know what. I'm gonna go try to get a weapon. And they just hit me. All right. And in this process, I've uh, added, uh, you can see here that we have a sword and shield now. And this is all part of a locomotion component that I have, and it's pretty amazing. Um, it looks really good. I had to code all this stuff back in and then, of course, customize and make uh, things the way I wanted them to get the same feel. I wanted that Lyra feel, so... Um, I want the character to not go seamlessly between the two because there's going to definitely be a lot more going on in the campaign mode. And you can see here that I've designed some windows for each weapon to uh, give you a little demo in the corner. So it's all generic and, and stuff now, but it's just showing you the potential. And now I can uh, customize all of those things. Um, what else, guys? You can see I changed, of course, the, the, the foliage. Um, I still do have my uh, same. I got some new trees, but then I did add these as well. Let's go ahead and press that menu right quick. And let me take care of this guy first. You can see I got some, the magic, everything is here. Everything that's in the multiplayer uh, uh, Lyra mode version is in this version as well. And then some, um, let's go ahead and go. And if we press this, you're gonna see we have this DLSS menu that comes up and I did uh, add this in and it does work pretty good uh, you could change uh, uh, but it doesn't do very much here right now though the performance is pretty much what it is um, you can look at the stats here um, you could change your screen percentage as you can see there that it actually does work all right and it does it based on you know how you have it I have the upscaling built in and then we have the Nvidia image scaling so all of these things are functional. I did build them in. Uh, I built this menu in here to this myself. Um, and it works, it works pretty good. All right. Um, thing is, is that, you know, like I said, the window size, I'm going to go ahead and increase this back. We're going to go ahead and close this menu back up. And you, as you can see here, the menu, it works. 
Um, and I gain a couple of frames, but it's around the same. Um, I didn't see much difference. You can see, like I said, a few more frames. Um, nothing, nothing to write home about. I gained a few more frames. It's a little bit more steady, but for this to be in 2K and running at 50 frames per second is pretty amazing. Um, we're going to go here and I'm going to let you see more. And there are a lot more enemies that are going to spawn as well. Um, I need to add these. Uh, um, I'm going to add uh, some spawners and keep things different. I do want to show you this I, I, before we definitely, I got to show you this. It's all part of the whole dialogue thing. We're going to go ahead and fly over here. And you can actually use weapons while you're flying. Um, you can see the bow and I'm going to show you guys each weapon. All right, so. And I'm going to add more, of course, slicing animations and combos. Um, I have some animations that I've picked up that I'm going to add um, to make this uh, to make a, the melee combat system a lot more versatile. Um, and we got the bow here. And we all know this is the uh, kind of the Paragon setup. I do have another bow system that I'm probably going to use. Um, this is really nice, though. Um, looks like the collision on these trees is not blocking the arrows. I can see them like flying forever. So, um, and but I'm gonna probably be abandoning the five project now that I have pretty much mostly everything in 5.3 and working. So, it just. It's it's I'm not going to continue to keep working in different versions. I'm just going to kind of, you know, take my ideas from each version and, and bring them together like I did in this one. And as you can see on the landscape and the grass, I just think it looks a lot better. It's a lot richer. Um, the lightning, the buildings, you can see I messed around with the with, with the windows and just I've been busy, guys. I've been busy. Trust me, I've, I've had a lot of side things to do and side work to do and, you know, uh, so I had, you know, things I had to take care of in my personal life, birthdays, uh, and, and other great things that are, you know, happening, but I did not stop working, just, uh, had to grind and didn't have time to, you know, do record and chop videos. You can see we have a tower out there and you can see how the light when it's lightning and how it's just bouncing and hitting the ground and just how good it just really looks amazing guys it looks amazing i'm very impressed um i'm very proud of myself 